As IMEO coalition leader Rayla Odinger has expressed his heartfelt condolences to General Francis Ogola who perished in a chopper crash in Elgio Maraquit. In a statement, Odinger expressed his heartfelt condolences to the family of the fallen general. He further showered Ogolo with praises referring to him as a true patriot and a professional who served Kenya with undying dedication. He also offered his condolences to the families of the Kenya Defense Forces officers who passed away with General Ogola. Through his Twitter, he wrote, A terrible day for Kenya. My wife Ida and I are deeply saddened and profoundly shocked by the passing of General Francis Ogola, the Chief of Defense Forces. We join the nation in mourning his loss. General Ogola was a true patriot, a highly decorated soldier, and a consummate professional who served our country with unwavering dedication. Our hearts go out to his family, his colleagues in the KDF, and the entire nation as we grieve this immense loss. We also extend our very heartfelt condolences to the families of the KDF team who were accompanying General Ogola. We know that at this moment words will not be enough to console your tremendous grief. We pray the Lord may give you comfort. May the souls of all those who have departed find eternal peace. Colonel David Sawe, Captain Sora Mohamed, Captain Hilali Litali, Senior Sergeant John Kenyua Murevi, Sergeant Cliffons Omondi, and Sergeant Rose Nyawera. This is devastating, not only to the country but to more to their families. Fortunately, the brutal hand of death left behind two unidentified survivors whom we wish a speedy recovery. We also ask that they be secured and afforded the best treatment that we can afford. We will always remember Jenu Ogola as a devout patriot and dedicated soldier to the Republic of Kenya from the day he graduated. He has been through multiple tours of duty and ultimately as the top soldier in Kenya, the Chief of Defense Forces, the CDF. He was revered by his colleagues at home and abroad. He has had a service of 40 years. Kenya's 11th CDF was a focused visionary whose impact on our disciplined forces, indeed our nation, will be greatly missed. To General Gola's family and those, the families of the other fallen soldiers, we offer our deepest condolences. At this most difficult moment, we stand with them and our prayers are with them. As a Zimio, we are deeply concerned that the Kenya Defense Forces have had several other accidents in the last 12 months, including yesterday's tragic crash. Just a minute, and uh, we are saying that this must be thoroughly investigated. We are aware that it is the Kenya Defense Forces that secures the flight, the flights of their commander in chief, as well as of their top officer, who is the CDF, the Chief of Independence. And yesterday's accident was unprecedented. We are therefore saying that uh, this is of great concern to all Kenyans 
it needs serious investigation concerns about our disciplined forces. We need a serious relook into our security equipment, especially the aircraft, to under and we need to undertake a complete overhaul. Yesterday's unfortunate accident needs expeditious help. Is the already tense must be open and reports made to the public. We also wish to ask the Ruto administration to consider the Disciplined Forces Welfare Fund should be established as soon as possible to address the well-being of our disciplined forces. The questions Kenyans are asking in conclusion is whether go and inspect military or was it a directive? There are many questions which beg answers. Even the visual images of that accident. I don't want to say anything more that may prejudice investigations. They leave us with anxiety. Once again, our deepest condolences to the families of General Ogola and the eight gallant officers who perished with him. And our prayers for quick recovery for the two survivors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.